Welcome back to the Live in the Dream podcast. I am your host, Matt Scaletti, motivational speaker and health coach, and I could not be more excited to be with you this week for this episode because we're talking about this moment, this moment right here, the three secrets to living in the moment, living in the now, being fully present. How the heck do we do this? Because I believe this is becoming more and more difficult with all the distractions out there. And I think, including myself, it's becoming more difficult to do it and less people are living in the present as a result of that. This must stop, we must slow this down, we must find ways to be fully present, to enjoy this thing called life because boom, before we know it, it's over. And if we don't enjoy the moment, it's going to be over much, much, much quicker. Let's jump right into the three secrets to living in the moment. The first one is what I call the last one mentality. I think I did an episode on this probably at least a year ago. Last one mentality, a mentor of mine whose name is Robin Sharma. He wrote the 5 a.m. club. He calls it the deathbed mentality, which is this. You act like one day you live for one day and that's it meaning when you talk to your parents or you go to work or you talk to a client you imagine what if this is the last time i ever talk to this person again you're walking down the street you see a stranger if that's the last stranger you ever see in your life i'm willing to bet you're going to smile and just give a little good morning when you pass that person versus just walking right by them right Think about when it rains. If this truly was the last day you ever lived on planet Earth and it rained, I would bet you you're going to walk outside and enjoy the rain. Give it, smell it, be out in it, feel it, hit your body, smile, laugh, dance in the rain, right? The last one mentality, if you can actually get yourself to think about this, it can elevate your life to levels that I cannot describe. And I'll give you an example. This was the first full time that I realized the power of this concept that I call the last one mentality. When my wife, myself, my brother went down to Florida to visit my parents. This was in the winter of 2019. I think it was February of 2019. So two years ago, we go down to visit for the weekend in Florida. And I had just read a book called The Untethered Soul. I'd just been thinking about this last one mentality. I think I just gave a speech on it. And I thought, okay, what if this truly is, or I act like this is the last time that my wife, my brother, my mom and dad and myself, the five of us, were going to be at the beach on vacation in Florida together. What if it was? I hope to God, I'm praying that it, that was not the last time, but let's just say, what if it was? How would I treat my family? How would I act? How would my attitude be? What would my energy be like? And I'm not exaggerating when I say I was in a euphoric, happy state like I can't even describe. This is the first time I ever used this concept. I just told my mom about it recently. It worked like I can't even, it's just, it was euphoric. It was so much fun. I was so energized, even though I think the one night I didn't get a ton of sleep. We're up late talking and chit chatting, but I just felt, it felt amazing. And if you can it, just think about the last time you talked to your mom or dad or your son or your daughter, and you think, okay, if this was the last time, how would I treat this person? It changes your whole mentality. And it's just, Hopefully, we'll all live to be, you know, 100 years old, right? But if not, you can help create this urgency in relationships and in your life and in your workouts and in your health if you use this last one mentality. Since that vacation down in Florida, every workout I've ever done, this is the first thing I think about. I thank God for letting me work out. And I think if this was the last workout, I just went for a run a couple of days ago. I thought if this was the last run, would, how would I finish the run? Would I finish it by just barely walking because I thought I was out of energy or would I push myself to the very end? Of course, I would push myself to the end, right? Every workout I think about, if this was it, how would I want to leave it? This is the last one. I got to push hard, right? So that's the number one secret to living in the moment. 
last one mentality, or as Raman Sharma said, deathbed mentality. It's incredible what it can do for your whole mindset. Number two is life's simple joys. Life's simple joys and trying to begin the, to enjoy and love and feel full of energy for the simple things. And one of the things that my family now is making fun of me for in a, in a cool way because they know I enjoy it is birds. Ever since COVID-19 hit and I'm working from home a lot as I know a lot of us were or still are, we put up a few bird feeders and I my home office looks right at the birds. I'm looking at them right now. There's three of them on the bird feeders. So I put out three bird feeders and this was the first time I actually started to enjoy the beauty that is these Pennsylvania birds that we have in our backyard. And what that did was it helped me stay present in the moment when you're fully locked into the beauty of, I'll give you an example. One of them is called the Eastern Bluebird, I think, which we were very lucky to see a couple of weeks ago. Beautiful bird. And it just puts you right in the moment, right in the present, right in the now, as you're taking in this bird and enjoying it as he's eating the food that I put out there for him. And even depending on where you live, I understand the nature is going to be different, whether it's deer or geese or birds or squirrels or rabbits, whatever. You can just, to me, feel so in the moment when you're enjoying nature. And maybe you're into plants and trees and you get joy out of that. You just feel one with nature, one with the world, one with yourself, and just enjoying living in that very moment. So I would ask you to find something out in nature that you enjoy and that can just connect you to the present moment and make you feel here and now. Because as we all know, if you cannot enjoy the simple moments, you'll never be able to enjoy the big things, right? We got to enjoy the little stuff. Anybody can enjoy big things, a big reward or a big vacation, but that only happens once every few months or once a year. What are we going to do to enjoy and be in the moment during the little things, during the everyday things that happen in our lives? Life's simple joys. Learn to love them. And if you want to start with Pennsylvania birds, I'm your guy. Hit me up a direct message and we can chat about it. That's number two. Number three, the last one is meditation, is mindfulness. Just an incredible practice. Helps us stay grounded this practice, and you can Google this or look up different science behind it, the benefits behind it, but there are a lot of studies showing the effect it can have on happiness, the effect it can have on living in the moment, the effect that it can have on lowering stress and just overall health. And also, one of the things I've noticed is focus. It can help you stay laser focused for a longer period of time. I meditate 10 minutes a day, minimum, maximum 15 to 20, I think is the most I've gone for a couple of years now. And it's just amazing some of the benefits that I've seen from it. And my question is, and I, I ask this to myself to make sure I keep the practice up. How could we not do this? If there's all these benefits, we know there's these benefits. This has been around for hundreds and hundreds, I think thousands of years, maybe mindfulness. How could we not do it? And I understand that the one main pushback, and this is the pushback with anything that we want to add in our lives, I don't have time, right? And you just look at some of the hugely successful business people and these personalities, and they're more busy than anybody arguably on the planet, and they find time, they make time. My question to myself is, what's my excuse for not doing this? And then I, I could not come up with one. I thought, I need to carve out 10 minutes of my life. And as my, one of my mentors, Tony Robbins, says, if you don't have 10 minutes, you do not have a life. And the point is, you need to find, if you cannot carve out 10 minutes of your life, priorities need to be adjusted, especially if those 10 minutes regarding meditation can help you lower stress, feel better, feel energized, feel younger, and just be more focused. How could we miss out on this incredibly powerful practice? So that's number three, living in the moment is mindfulness, meditation, and carving out some time every day for that. Thanks for listening slash watching. Just a quick recap on the three secrets to living in the moment. Number one, last one mentality, that deathbed mentality that Robin Sharma talks about. Number two, enjoying life's simple joys, those everyday joys like the birds or the geese or the deer, or whatever you connect with uh, 
with nature or being in the moment and seeing those simple things. And the last one, number three, is meditation slash mindfulness, getting some sort of practice, even if it's for two or three minutes, where you can just connect yourself to that present moment and be mindful of what's going on and the beauty of this thing called life. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Sending you out my love this week. Have the best week of your life. And I will see you next week with another episode of the Live in the Dream podcast.